If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mind. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, Ada Army. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell so you never miss a Boomin update. With these updates every single day, you don't want to miss them. Go ahead and leave by full five comments down below. If you are so inclined to do so, let's get this engagement up. I'm hot tea and honey, lot and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. And we got some Cardano NFT news. That's pretty cool. NMKR underscore IO. We featured them on this channel before a long time ago. They are a Cardano NFT platform. Um, and they have announced that they have been approved for the Microsoft for Startups program. This is pretty cool. And what that is is a founders hub that removes barriers to building a company with free access to tech, coaching, and support to hit your next milestone through this program nmkr can accelerate development of new products and features making building on the blockchain easy for everyone so this is pretty cool guys um so here's the microsoft for startups brings people knowledge and benefits together to help founders at every stage solve startup challenges sign up for minutes with no funding required this is pretty cool. Um, you get free Azure credits, productivity and dev tools, mentorship, and friendly offers to Microsoft partners. So this is actually pretty cool, guys. Shout out to NMKR. I can't wait to see what comes out of this. Um, and this is definitely big for them and for the Cardano ecosystem. This should get more eyes on Cardano and allow us to grow. Hopefully more and more projects use this as a resource. So shout out to NMKR. Let's go ahead and move on. <clears throat> we got OneCom here, guys. Go ahead and consider delegating OneCom. Take us to 1COMM at 0% fees until at least the end of December 2022 for all existing and new delegators. Thank you to OneCom for sponsoring the channel, guys. It's imperative that you support your favorite small stake pool operator, especially in times where the prices aren't where we want them to be. More and more small stake pool operators are going to start shutting down their machines, so it's up to us to keep them in business. If you are a small stake pool operator that's struggling right now, and you need direction, you need help, go ahead and DM me on Twitter for sponsorship opportunities. Let's go ahead and move on, guys. Thank you to OneCom. Now, we have this here from IOHK. During the September 360 show, Tim Harrison talked about Plutus V2 cost model and as well as the overall network performance after the Vassal upgrade. Let's take a look at the video here. This is pretty awesome, guys. After the hard fork, it is now cheaper to run Cardano. It's cheaper to send transactions, cheaper to interact with smart contracts, cheaper to yield farm, and that's key. Uh, we're starting to see the vision of scalability grow. We're going to have Hydra soon, maybe the end of next year, along with other uh, other enhancements to the Cardano blockchain to make it more scalable, faster, cheaper, and more decentralized. All right, guys. So let's take a quick look at this video here, about a minute long. So, Kevin, on Tuesday, we did see the Plutus V2 cost model go live. Can you tell us a little bit more about what that means and why it matters? So the Plutus V2 cost model, what this does is to enable all the goodies from Plutus V2 scripts. So DAP developers from Tuesday have been able to adapt their scripts to use Plutus V2. And in addition, what we've done is to tune the parameter settings so that both Plutus V2 and Plutus V1 scripts will benefit from the improvements to the Plutus interpreter too. So two very simple, very important things coming from rolling out the new cost model. And Kevin, the network has been performing pretty well. Yes, Tim, we're very happy with how the network has been performing. 
As always, we've been monitoring the network performance very carefully, and we're very pleased to see that our friends at uh, Drip Drops, for example, initiated a big drop at about the time of the Vassal Hard Fork. Uh, I think the comments from the community said things like smooth as silk. So the network is demonstrating its uh, resilience and capability to deal with uh, large volumes of real work. So very pleased with that. All right, guys, next up. This is pretty awesome. Shout out to Cardanians on Twitter. They also have a stake pool. You can stake with them as well. Is there anyone who will claim that proof of stake doesn't work? Cardano said proof of stake for two years, never any problem. No hack, no reboot. Indeed, I've been faithfully getting that ADA every five days without fail. And it's been amazing. Not once have we needed to reboot. Not once have we needed to stop the system. Not once. Oh, oh. If you don't look, look at this, we got FUD. We got FUD here. Instead, they're claiming Cardano isn't proof of stake, it's delegated proof of deposit. Oh my goodness, these people grasping at straws. Grasping, grasping at straws. This man probably bought Solana at the top and he's mad. Lord have mercy. My man does not know what staking is. He doesn't know what crypto is at all. Let me, let me see. Let's take a look at his timeline. I'm not looking to make fun of this man, but he's got 86k followers. Just because you have a lot of followers does not mean you know what the heck you're talking about. It does not mean you know what the heck you're talking about at all. And he uses a lot of big words, a lot of uh, you know. A lot of uh, engagement farming here and there. And uh, yeah, he just gets under people's skin. So this is an engagement farming um, <laughs> Twitter account. So we're just going to go ahead and move on. He's, he's a Cardano hater. He's never going to come over to the, to the right side. He's probably a Solana Maxi. So uh, the FUD will change, guys. That's basically what I'm trying to say. The FUD is going to change throughout the years. It already has. Since the beginning of the the beginning of years in the Cardano ecosystem till now, and the FUD will morph into more and more nonsensical garbage as Cardano continues to slowly, um, to slowly uh, 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 creep in to the crypto ecosystem. So when we start to dominate, there will be more FUD. Just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and move on, guys. We have a fake Cardano Foundation here, guys. Um, this isn't real. This is a scam cloning the Cardano Foundation. Uh, so please do not put airdrop. Don't don't put your wallet address in here. Nothing. Uh, go ahead and click this and report them because they are fake and block them. And they already have 19k followers, so. Um, some people probably already got scammed, you know, they just get greedy and ape in and don't even look or, or think. So hopefully you did not get scammed. Hopefully you did not click anything. You did not click the link or nothing like that. If you did, let this be a cautionary tale. Always do your own research. Always look twice. Always don't trust verify in crypto. Always. Okay, let it be a cautionary tale to you. Hopefully you don't get your wallet drained or anything like that. Just please be, be, uh, be cautious, okay? Um, and then finally, guys, uh, this is Yam4. Now, I am not sponsored by this. Again, do your own research. This is just for your eyes only so that you can see and that you can go in and do your own research. I have no idea if these guys are going to rug pull <laughs> or if these guys are legit. This is just to bring attention to it so you guys could do your own research. So this is a DeFi lending ecosystem called Yan4. The centralized non-custodial lending protocol on Cardano. Yan4 is the first community backed lending protocol offering crypto back loans with no margin calls or ongoing interest repayments, indefinite loan terms, 
But who would fund the protocol with such favorable loan terms? All crypto-backed loans facilitated through Yan4 are directly funded from the protocol's internal stablecoin treasury. This removes many of the counterparty requirements of lenders, such as ensuring the value of the borrower's collateral never falls below a certain threshold or requiring ongoing interest for payments. Because all capital is lent and owned through the protocol itself, the greater level of risk is taken on by the protocol on behalf of the borrowers. This enables significantly more favorable loan terms that would otherwise wouldn't be possible through traditional or lending solutions. The Antwerp protocol simply relies on accumulated stake rewards earned from borrowers depositing ADA collateral in the protocol as a repayment for their loan with no other further payment obligations. So I think you place your ADA in there, they run a stake pool with it, get the ADA rewards, and that's how they get paid and incentivized from your collateral. All payments are simply settled on the closure of the borrower's loan position, negating any need for interest repayments. There really are no margin calls, interest repayments, are in indefinite loan terms. So they're making money by custodying your ADA. Not custodying it, holding your ADA. You're giving them your ADA, and they'll loan you. Uh, that You're giving them collateral, and they'll loan you the stable coin instead, and they, they'll make the interest off the sticking rewards, and you repay back the loan. Okay, so I don't need to tell you guys, not your keys, not your coins. If you're going to use this, please consider that. Not your keys, not your coins. Don't, for the love of God, don't be a dummy and put all your crypto in. There's, uh, anyway, this is the Twitter here, guys. Only 984 followers here. Um, do your own research. Here is the website. This is another Cardano project overview. So... Again, it's yam4.com if you guys want to take a look. When you're doing your own research, please consider looking in to make sure that the team is actually legitimate. <laughs> okay. Follow them on socials, all that good stuff. And uh, what are the risks? So the main risks for borrowers taking crypto back loans is comes from their exposure to the native utility and governance token of the protocol, CL, CBLP. Depending on the supply and demand required, A to C L C B L P lending ratio could be quite high. The C B L P token is inherently riskier than ADA due to its limited use case and smaller market capitalization. Ideally, any user taking out a crypto back loan against their ADA would prefer the majority, if not all, their deposited uh, collateral remains dominated in ADA. So, if anything were to happen, if there was a short squeeze, if the C L cbl token dips there's a lot of risks but this is yet another loan lending and borrowing platform on cardano and i wanted to bring that to your attention i've got to run guys thank you for bearing with me stay tuned keep on chopping wood leave my full five comments down below and i'll talk to you guys soon with the cardano updates have an amazing day goodbye thank you for tuning in and watching daily v chain and cardano videos on satoshi Boomin channel i want to say a wonderful shout out to our wonderful Patreons here, Maryland for Crypto, Anthony Andrews, Farooz Den, Kyle Bocci, Crypto SVT SI, Angeltopia, DNC Vale, Leon Jackson, the second, Kragen, All Flare LLC, Lucky Sunshine Token, and Catherine Braun. Guys, let's keep chopping wood. Don't let your means be dreams. And thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support.